evening and welcome back to Minecraft Obscurity. I'm Modi Apparatus. On today's episode, we're going to get into some magic finally, doing some Thaumcraft. And then uh, we'll also be working on a request I had in one of the comments in the last episode. So let's get going. All right, so as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to do some serious magic today in Thaumcraft, something I'm very familiar with, but uh, we'll try to tackle as much as we can today, speed through it, and then hopefully it'll lock some really cool things to help us with future quests, because that's really what it's all about, because there's a lot of things you can only get with Thaumcraft that you can't uh, get anywhere else. So there's certain things that'll definitely help us with our with our rest of our quest lines, I think. Uh, probably. I don't know for sure. We'll find out. Um, we also had a request from a viewer uh, a couple episodes back that I should try to use the holy hand grenades on the wither. And I think that sounds like a fun idea, actually. I want to see how much these how much damage these things really do. To something that won't die in one hit. So uh, let's see. I got the holy hand grenades in here. We need to make some wither skeleton skulls uh, to create a wither, and we'll just make up three of those. And I'm out of diamonds. Oh well, hopefully we have some more diamonds here that I can grab because we need them. Uh, I've been using them up pretty regularly the last few episodes here to make you know all the different Steve's. Uh, cart stuff and that kind of thing. It's very resource intensive. All right, so we got 22. That's not a bad trade off. Our quarry is still going strong here. And we'll go one, two, three. OK, we got all that and we'll head into the cube over here to fight the wither. Oh, we need some soul sand as well, of course. So the soul sand we will need uh, those four pieces of that too. 17 in here. There we go. OK. So that's be everything we'll need. We'll do our same strategy we did last time we fought him, and that was just to come in here, let him do his little, little power up thing, uh, hop back out while he's working on that, and then uh, we'll uh, hop back in and kill him right away and see how many it takes to actually deal with him here. Oh, he's doing his thing. Okay, hop back out. Let him get angry. Let him get mad. Let him get ready for us. Get these in the hot bar, of course. And there it is. All right, now let's get it. Okay, so we got seven hand grenades right now. Let's see a one. Oh, missed him one. Oh, yeah, I think I hit him that time. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Two, three. Is it three? Four. Yeah, four. We did. We did seven. We had seven, and we got three. So they only took four shots from this thing. And that's actually only four glowing water. And that's only. Let's see. That's this is this is four pieces of luminite. So, uh, sixteen pieces of luminite can kill a weather. Basically, is what your trade-off is here. Um, unfortunately, it's not just that simple. We have to do a lot of steps in between. The uh, product and result there. If it was that simple, we'd have uh, infinite withers or uh, inf infinite nether stars. But um, yeah, that'll be fine. Anyways, as I mentioned, we are going to do some crafting today in Thalmcraft, and it is going to be intensive. We're going to speed through it here as much as we can. But we're going to try to just get everything's done. We're pretty much at square one here. We've got the Thumnomicon, and that's about it. Um, and we have our circular table. I think we need one more table also to make the research bench. Yes, we do. So we got two tables. We also need to make the um, some other things here. Let's see what else we're going to need right away. Uh, we're going to need this luminometer and we need one piece of glass. Really? No, any regular glass. We have quite clear glass. This might work. Oh, we just got to use uh, our. Uh, let's just use all this borderless glass and just change it back into normal, um, normal glass because it's it's all chiseled now. So let's do this, and then we can use it for stuff more frequently. All right, let's get that. And that should take care of two quest lines right away here. Right from the outset here, we got this. Oh, we got to do detection too. We got to scan a lot of things here. Oh, it actually just has us collect these things. Oh, there's a lot of steps to this. So we have to, we have everything collected here. So this is just a detection task to make sure we can scan all the things. Oh, this is this kind of nice? Okay, so if we scan the following things, we will get one of each of the aspects. Is this what it's trying to tell us? Is that real? I guess it's possible. Well, I'm interested to find out if that's the case. Uh, we will do that experiment, actually. Um, I kind of like that idea. So let's make a fence gate and a clock. And we're all covered there. Uh, unless there's something else here. Fence gate. Fence gate. And we need to <laughs> conveniently that makes sticks that we needed for the recipe anyways. And that will uh, put that inventory and that should take care of it. OK, and then we need a clock. And it should do it. Oh, we can use a uh, aluminum brass to burn some of that up. Finally had to use for it. And that does it. Pick a reward bag. Get that reward there. And what is what in the uh, this one? OK, so we need the scribing tools also. Scribing tools. And that'll take care of that. Well, that 
that quest as well. Scribing tools. And we probably have a bottle in there. Yep, we can make that. We'll make two of them right away here. And that should do it. Okay, let's pop open this reward bag. It's an epic reward bag. Wow, nice. Let's see what's in it. That's actually a pretty epic reward, I will say. Shimmer Leaf and Cinder Pearls. Those are something we can't ever get on our own. So that's definitely, well, I guess we can probably get them in Thomcraft. But um, that's something that we can, it'll be difficult to get in Thomcraft. Uh, so let's... Didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. We got a little crazy with our axe there. All right, let's pop this down over here and click it with the scribing tools. There we go. That is set up for our desk here. And then we need to take our thumbnometer and uh, we need to scan all those items that it mentions in here. Oh, we can turn in a couple more quests. I think I'll just wait on turning them in, uh, make a cauldron. Okay, yeah, we can totally do that pretty easily. Um, we also aren't doing like the steps to actually do these things. We're definitely gonna need to. Uh, to make the crucible and that kind of thing. We'll get our we'll get our wand out and do that in a moment here. What I want to do first though is scan each of these things. Uh, and I'll do it off camera really, really quick here. And so we'll see how many aspects that unlocks. If this is like a roadmap to like get everything unlocked, I'd love to see if that is uh, the case here. So I'll take a little quick break here. I'll scan everything up and then uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm about halfway through my objects. Uh, we had to do a little bit of jumping into the book to get everything figured out here. Um, we got... Uh, you know, certain things we had to actually combine, we couldn't just scan for. Uh, I'm trying to do this largely just by scanning. I don't want to look anything up. I'm just trying to do it from memory, and it's not coming together. I'm still hitting a wall here. I'm going to have to keep trying. This is super tedious, though. That's why I'm keeping it off camera for the most part here. But uh, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to try to get through the rest of these items and get them all scanned to see what it, we end up with. And not add, add too many other ones that I combine together to see if we can get there. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of being a slow process for the moment as we go here. So uh, I'm going to keep working on this and I'll be right back after the tedium here is over. All right, so we've hit another roadblock here. We need another uh, intervention of research, I think. We need to grab a sword out so we can take care of this guy too because he's bugging me. And uh, we need to do some research here. I think what we need to do is just... He's just no, Victus. No, that's not it. We need to get research involving man, it says. And uh, I know it comes from Bestia. Uh, I just don't know which one it might be beyond that. No. No. Hmm. No, not that. Okay. We need to do some more research for that one quick here. And get some more aspects of that. So that's what that's the road about Clinton is right now. We need to get Bestia and Modus Invictus. Okay, that's gonna be we're running out of everything here right now. Because we need to do uh So much here. Like I said, this is the tedious part here. So it's going to take another minute here. I'm going to keep working on it and I'll be back in a moment. All right. So my roadblock definitely is research related here. If I scan this, it tells me I need to understand the nature of death. If I scan this, it tells me I need to research the nature of man. If I scan this, it tells me I need to research the nature of man. And if I scan this, I think it tells me I need to research the nature of tools. One of these says that um, nature of tools, right? No, nature of man. So I think death is basically the next step here. We have to research that. Now, I believe just for personal memory. Now, if you're on your own and don't have haven't played this before, I don't know how you'd figure it out. You just got to figure it out through trial and error. But I'm pretty sure that will do it. And that will give us Mortis and then Mortis and life. There's a Spiritus, Spiritus and Estia unlocks the entire thing. Oh, no, it's not that. Hmm. What was it again? But now that we have Spiritus, we might be able to get away with getting through with the nature of death here. So let's take a look at the zombie head and see now. There it is. Okay, so we got food. Nope, not that one. We need man now. That's not going to be the answer, though. We did get the one with meat, though. Nature of tools. So tools is the final step after man. That one works, okay. That's still not going to give us any closer, though. Um, we need one that's going to give us something to do with humans. And also... There it is, that's the answer. So, that'll give us Cognitio. And that Cognitio should give us tools, I believe. So let's try this now. Not quite yet. Oh, let's try this one. Nature of Man. Okay, we didn't quite get it just yet. Um... We'll try this now? No, but we did get closer. We did definitely get closer. So I think 
The answer is more research. Uh, we need to do Cognicio and Spiritus. No, it's Cognicio and Bestia. Yes. Uh, in which case, I'm going to look that up again here because we got it in here. The. It's Mortis, Modus, and Victus together. Do I have any more Victus left? I don't. Of course. We're burning through it like crazy. We're running out though. Modus. We're out of Modus too. Uh, and Modus is. Air and order. Yeah, okay. So then Modus, Victus, makes Bestia. Cognition. That did it. That's the trick. There it is. Humanus. Now we have man. This will open up everything to us, I think. There it is. And tools. Just about. Um, it said we need to search the nature of tools first. Okay. Which it is a tool. So there it is. And now we've got this on lockdown. Not quite. Nature of tools. Okay. We need to look at more tools, I think. Uh, let's do this. No, not quite. No, study nature tools. Okay, what else, other tools can we scan that aren't the hoe? We need to just research the uh, sword, I think, maybe. Let's see if there's any swords in our little thing here. Shovel might work. Let's see if that works. There it is. Okay, so that's going to open up everything for us, finally. Finally, finally, finally. This is going to go. And then this is going to go, right? We already got that. Then this is going to go. And then this is gonna go. Oh, we already got that. Uh, this is already probably gone. Oh, trap. Yep. Okay. Trap door is gonna go. Yep. And wow, here we're getting there now. We're getting someplace. Apple should do it. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Now we've got everything. I think. So wool is the last step, really. Oh, that's a good sign. That's one of the final steps. Is wool. Carrots will be good. I mean, this wasn't even part of our original bunch here, but that'll be fine. Oh, that's another aspect we just got, though. We didn't have that one before. And the hoe is not good yet, but it will be. There it is. Got that. So, zombie head. Wheat wasn't part of the original batch, but we have it now. Um, rotten flesh. Iron pickaxe. Spider eyes. We don't have that one yet. There we go. Got that. And that should be all of it. Clock. Last step. Got that one now. Raw chicken was part of it also. That one's already covered. I think we're good. I think we got everything in carpet. I don't know if carpet lets us. Oh, it does work. Okay. Yeah, carpet's one of the final ones here. Um, Yeah, that's it. That's all there is. That's not all the aspects. I think there's a couple we're missing still. Um, But they don't really come up too often. So let's go take a look at our book now, our, uh, our old uh, Th Thumnomicon here, and see what we can research. So we have everything for this. We need to see three aspects of each of those. Um, we probably do want to set up a deconstruction table now, though, or pretty soon here. Uh, artifice. Now we have the arcane work table. We have that. We need the... Uh... Yeah, we just probably should do that part now. So let's get the arcane work table. We need one more table. Um, only one more table. And where's our wand? I think it might be in here. And where might I put it? Someplace we would need it for a long time. There we go. And there's nothing on it just yet, I think. Yeah, no aspects on it just yet. We can get that quickly just by uh, killing things in here. We can slowly get some aspects. There's two. Yeah, we're going to get it. So I can just kill things for a second here. And uh, then we don't have to run around looking for nodes at all. Even though it's not going to be that difficult. Um, that'll give us lots of aspects here. But we should, first, what we should do is put this table together here. And get that going. Let's get the arcane work table. That'll open up a lot of options. And let's see, what else is that for our quest lines go? Um, that's pretty good. Magical crafting. We need to extract energy from your wand to craft magical items. We have that. We need to pick this back up again to uh, actually register, I think. 
Nope, not that book. So that's good. Uh, then the knowledge breakdown. We need to get the deconstruction table. Uh, and I don't think we can. Can we just craft that deconstruction table without um, any kind of knowledge? Possibly. I think we can. No, we can't. Okay, we need to get some research done then. Uh, which in which case, uh, what's involved in that for sure? Let's see here quick. It's underneath. Not underneath this. It might be underneath here. Oh, we need to get the uh, this research expertise here, which means we need more Ordo because we're all out of it from uh, doing all of our work there. So we are kind of stuck. We need to scan some stuff with Ordo in it. Um, in which case, I can like scan the table here. I'm thinking oh, this is going to be Ordo, but at least we'll get some more aspects. So I need to what I need to do is I need to get some more aspects, I think, um, just so I can do more more work in uh, Thomcraft here. So I will take a little break here, get up a lot more aspects than what I have now. And then we should be able to finish up the episode with uh, some more serious magical crafting and uh, magical work. All right, it took a little bit of work actually to get some Ordo because right now we can't get any more Ordo without having the actual deconstruction table yet. There are plenty of ways to get more aspects. We could have gone out and scanned some nodes. We could have uh, ate some brains, I guess, if necessary. But uh, I just decided to scan a few things to get to the bare minimum here. In any event, um, we did get everything we need here, and we can finally do the research for this. Research expertise taken care of, and that basically gives us more efficient and performing research. Um, when you're doing the actual, uh, you know, research, you can you can have a chance to recover a research point. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we can also see what the aspects are in the research bench, I believe. Yeah, so we can see what all the aspects are right here now, finally, uh, which is very, very helpful. And then finally, deconstruction table, we have everything for that. Uh, so let's put that together now. Um, where did that uh, arcane? We need to get the levels out of here because it's filling up again. I need to fix this soon here. There are methods, I know, but we have we'll we'll get that soon here. Um, where is my deconstruction table? Did I throw it in here? Or not? I didn't make a deconstruction table. I'm talking about my arcane. There it is. I did throw it in here. Let's put this back out here because we can finally use it. And let's put our wand in it. Our wand is back in the machine here, too. What? And then we need to get everything for the deconstruction table. Let's take a look and see what that's going to involve. Uh, golden axe, table, another thumb, thumbometer, and a golden pickaxe. Okay, look, we can do that. Um, so let's go uh, axe, golden axe. Pickaxe. Another one of these. And a table. And also, it says it requires us to have uh, some Vs in our uh, thing here. Let's see what it's going to take. Probably don't have enough, obviously. We only got like one or two. Uh, we need 22. Okay. So let's uh, let's kill some enemies here, get some more Vs in our thing here, and then we'll be right back. All right, I decided to go topside to see if I can scout around for a couple of nodes. They're all over the place, really. It should be too tough to find them. Um, this is just snow, though. It's easier to see when we get in the darkness. Just gotta be careful that we don't uh, get too far, so that we uh, are taking damage. But this should work, um, and we should be able to get some aspects just from scanning these things too. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll get some stuff in our wand here. Oh, sorry, buddy. I don't want really want to deal with you like this. Uh, let's pop down a torch if we have it. Oh, we don't. We we'll have to get be quick about this. And let's make sure we don't draw it all the way out. So there's that. We need a. Uh, what else do we need? We need Perdicio, right? That's the main thing. Um. Yeah, how are we doing on that? We have five. Okay, we gotta find another node then. Uh, that'll be the quickest way of doing this. Oh, that's nothing. Uh, let's see. There's one here. There's one here. And I don't know if this provides enough light for us to sit by. Oh, that's more aura node with normal. Okay, we need to get a dark one here. Here's a good one. That's just green, okay. Let's look around and see if we see any others. Not in the immediate vicinity. We are going to have a light problem in a second here, though, so we have to head over to the area over here. Okay, here we go. Just one. Looks like it has... More fire and green. Okay. Let's 
This one has uh, probably just green in it also. Oh, there's some. And yeah, we can get some off of this without breaking it, hopefully. It's gonna be close. I don't want to break it all the way. Down to five. Okay, that's, that's as far as I want to take it. I don't want to break it because we want that one to recharge. So uh, yeah, let's let it let us do its thing here, and uh, we'll head back for the moment. Uh, that's only a few mobs to kill then, so let's just do those quick. There's plenty around here. All right, so I just spent some time killing mobs and drained out a node to get a little bit of uh, perditio. And now we should be ready to make our deconstruction table, finally. Got that, let's make sure the quests are all connecting. Yes, they are, and the magic juice quest line is next, and also the thomic vision is not always a nice thing to have. And then fusion and glowing aura. We need to get ethereal essence. Oh, we have probably those in here someplace. Um, ethereal essence. We have one. Oh, well, we need to break a node to get that, don't we? Okay. Um... Let's submit that. Okay, that's it. good. Uh, I don't know where we got those from, but we probably need to break a node now to get that. Uh, boy, I don't want to have to do it, but I guess we have to. Um, let's go over to this one here. I think there was one over here that had some Perdicio on it. Hate to, I hate to break one that's so close. Negative 141. Is it this one? Yep. Hate to do it. Um, let's hit it with a pickaxe and break it, unfortunately, because we have to get the essence to complete the quest line. That guy really knocked me back. There we go. Okay, we got all kinds of essences there. Uh, we got what we need, though. It's unfortunate we have to break it, but it is the case for this quest line. So, it's what we did what was required of us, and now we've got what we need. So that should complete that quest line. And we just try to be able to turn a bunch of these in. Uh, and then we have to do a couple more things over here. We have to do the infusion and we got a couple more things over here. And then we should be done with this. We can start doing more and more things. Um, I think it's a good spot to stop for now for this episode here. Uh, we're just turning these quests, I guess. We want the wand focus or the excavation focus. I think I like equal trade. It's personal play style. Uh, either one of these is probably about the same, although they're equal. Okay, let's turn this in two, get a reward bag. And finally, one here, too, for Nitro. Oh, we don't have any room in our pack anymore. We've got so much stuff now. Uh, but now that we have the deconstruction table, we can get even more aspects, so that's not gonna be an issue anymore. Uh, pretty much ever. We have so many things we can clean up for that. Uh, we got a Wand of Equal Trade and a Focus Pouch. So let's throw that in there. Um, yeah, so we made some progress here at least. It took a long time off camera here, unfortunately, to do all of that. Uh, oh, yeah, block, nice. Um, to do all of that aspect of researching. I apologize, it's going to be a little disjointed, I'm sure. But um, I'll come back next time and do even more Thaumcraft researching. And uh, it should go a little bit smoother next time that we've made a little bit of progress here. The grindiness is over, I think. Now it's just all of the fun. So uh, next time we'll have some fun with Thaumcraft and do some cool crafting, get some things that'll help us in our quest lines. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap a lot of this up here pretty soon, I think. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.